Hey everyone, I'm building an entire first-person shooter game from scratch in the Gato engine and documenting the progress with these tutorials. In this video, we're developing our walking state for our player movement state machine by fine-tuning our state transition, movement acceleration, and adding a walking animation. The basic FPS controller project from episode one is available for free on GitHub. And if you would like to use the written version of this tutorial or download all of the source files, you can get access by joining my Patreon. Let's dive in. We're working from the last episode, number seven, where we set up our basic state machine and idle and walking states. First, we need to adjust our transition rules for going from idle to walking. In fact, this is a great example of why state machines are so useful and easy to adjust. Right now, we transition to our walking state if our velocity is greater than zero, which makes sense. If our player is moving, then we must be walking except our velocity can change in other ways, like jumping. Right now, if we jump, our velocity is also greater than zero, and so we switch to our walking state. This will be fixed when we incorporate an actual jumping state to our state machine, but let's do a quick patch right now to see how we can alter our state transitions. First, I'm gonna add another if check to see if our player is on the floor as well. If they are, then we transition to walking, and if not, then we don't. Now when we jump, we won't go into the walking state. Obviously we're missing our jump state logic here, but it shows how easy it is to manage our states and adjust them without having to check a giant controller script. The player movement we have set up already is pretty basic at the moment, but we can add some juice by adding two things, acceleration and deceleration. Acceleration will make our player reach our top movement speed gradually and deceleration will slow them down gradually. In this movement script, and probably yours too if you're working from your own, we get our movement by setting our velocity to our input direction multiplied by our speed. This makes the player move at the speed we set at all times. Let's create a new export variable in our player controller for acceleration and deceleration. Why not just acceleration? Well, we might want to slow down and speed up at different speeds, so having two separate variables allows for that. For our acceleration, we'll have a more gradual increase by using 0.1. This value can be anything between zero and one. For deceleration, we'll slow down more quickly with a value of 0.25. Then in our movement script, we'll swap our basic formula for a lerp function where we go from our current velocity to our desired direction times our target speed, increasing by our rate of acceleration. By adding a lerp or linear interpolation to our velocity code, we gradually increase our velocity until we reach our set speed. This rate of increase is set by the alpha of our lerp function, or our acceleration. For deceleration, we want to keep using the move toward function because it will make sure we always get to zero. The third value here, our speed, is the value we're moving to our second value. By using speed, we're immediately going to zero. By using deceleration, this becomes a gradual transition, and that's what we want. And with that small change, we now have a nice acceleration and deceleration to our movement. Okay, so we have a nice transition between states and we also show that gradual transition with our acceleration and deceleration. But unfortunately, when we move, it looks like we're just skating on ice. Head bobbing animations in FPS games can be done in different ways, either by manipulating the camera or just the gun or hand models. We'll end up doing both for this project, but for now, we're going to add a head bob animation by manipulating our camera when we are in our walking state. We'll do this by adding an animation to our player controller's animation player node. This animation will add a slight head bob movement to our camera controller and give the sense that we're walking and not skating in the Olympics. To do this, let's go to our animation player and add a new animation called walking. Then we'll add a Bezier curve track to our animation for our camera controller node. Using a Bezier curve track will allow us a lot more freedom in how we adjust our camera. The property we want to adjust is our position property. Let's first add a keyframe for our camera controller position at the start of our animation. A small Bezier button here will bring up the curve editor where we can set our keyframes and the interpolation between them. By holding Control and Alt, we can zoom in and out in our graph and edit our x, y, and z values. For our values, our z will remain at zero, and our x and y values will be as follows with keyframes at zero, 
0.5, 1, 1 1.5, and 2 seconds. We'll also need to set the animation to loop. Our X position will shift left and right slightly like so. Our Y position will be more like a sine wave, but with a sharper bounce here at the bottom. You can play with these values to get the animation and movement you're looking for, and there are lots of ways you can adjust to get your movement. For me, I'm looking for a basic foundation that I can then manipulate with some code later on to add some randomization. With our animation set, we need to run our animation when we are in our walking state. We'll add our export variable in our walking state script to assign our animation player node called animation. Then when we enter our walking state, we'll play our walking animation. When we enter our idle state, we'll pause that animation. Pausing will stop any weird animation glitching when we start walking again. And in the future, we can also add an idle animation and blend between the two. The next thing I want to do is connect our walking animation playback to our actual movement speed. Right now, when we walk, the animation will always play at the same rate, which isn't too realistic. The head bob will be quicker if we're moving quicker, right? Thankfully, we've already done that work with our acceleration and deceleration. Let's head to our walking state script and create an export variable called top animation speed, which will be the fastest we want our walking animation to run, and a new function called set animation speed with a speed parameter where we'll pass our current velocity. Our function will set the speed scale of our animation player node to a lerp from zero to our top animation speed based on an alpha value. That alpha value needs to be between zero and one. So we remap our speed parameter, i.e. our current velocity to a range of zero and our top possible walking speed, our speed default variable in our player controller. All of that then gets remapped to a range of zero to one. So what does this mean? Well, it means that when we accelerate to our top walking speed, we're also going to accelerate our animation playback speed. So when we move faster, our head bob animation also moves faster. Now we add this line to run our set animation speed function every frame. With that in place, we have a pretty nice head bob movement when we are walking that matches our overall movement velocity. In the future, we can add some randomization to the movement and create different animations for different movement states, exactly like we just did which we'll do when we add a sprinting state in the next video. All right, guys, if this tutorial was helpful, consider it a like and subscribe to the channel as we're going to be covering a lot more. Thanks to all of my patrons who keep this series going. You too can get access to the written tutorials and the project source files by joining my Patreon. You can download everything there and you'll also get early access to my videos and sneak peeks at future tutorials. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep creating.